Hey, it's me Jeremy and welcome back to another video. First and foremost, I'd like to thank you for your support on our previous video. <laughs> Uh, we have received a lot of questions and requests to see my brother's um, Star Wars collection as well as some questions about how these helmets built. So please bear with me, um, I'll try and arrange a time to make another video to share about all these collection and uh, some of the helmets. So today we're going to talk about these. These are the uh, helmets from the Waltz Trooper Factory or WTF in short. We're going to talk about how long it took to make these helmets Why did I order these over the licensed ones like the EFX or the Anovos ones And also how does these helmets compare to the 501st data bank Before we begin, if you like magic or review videos like this Hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell So you won't miss a video If you're ready, let's begin I ordered them in January and normally it would take 6 to 8 weeks to complete but due to some unforeseen circumstances like COVID, the weather and some family emergencies over that site, um, it was delayed. But no complaints, um, I was given timely updates on the progress of every helmet as well as um, the shipping information, tracking and also right down to how I want the uh, Sand Trooper to be weathered. These helmets were vacuum pulled or resin pulled by Walt, assembled, painted and weathered by Wolfman Ty Odell. So thank you so much. I don't possess the skills to um, assemble all these, so clearly I have to find somebody with the right skills and experience to do it, right? Oh wait. <laughs> because you will not imagine the amount of sanding we have to do to get that surface. Moving on. Why did I buy these helmets over like EFX or Anovos? I guess the main reason is because they were made almost the same way as the originals. Now, my very first helmet was also given to me by my brother and it was the EFX Shadow Trooper. Yeah. Right. And so, if you were to look at the helmet um, closely, you will realize that it is being cast differently okay, from the rest over there. Um, and there are some details that are missing as well. For example, the frown in front here doesn't have like the eight cut out teeth. Okay? The ears doesn't have like the three screws that they're supposed to have. And I personally feel that the bumps over here are actually too sharp. Yeah? Also, the uh, trap and the tears are not painted, right? But don't get me wrong, this still makes a very good collection. This still makes a great collection uh, for your helmets, right? But it just really depends on how crazy of a collector you are. Can I call you a serious collector? Let's call me crazy. <laughs> okay, crazy collector. Now, I didn't know about all these details until my brother introduced me to the 501st um, data bank. Under CRL, you can actually learn a lot more about the individual parts of the entire costume, from head to toe, inside and out. Don't worry, I'll leave the links in the description below. I've learned so much just by looking at a website and comparing it with the helmets made by Walk Troopers Factory. And I must say, it can get to level 2 certification and maybe maybe even level 3. So mad respects for people who dedicate their time and effort to make these helmets and costumes. Lastly, I feel that the price is reasonable and in fact comparable to the uh, licensed ones. What I really like about these are that you almost own a piece of history, if you know what I mean. I'm not a crazy collector like my brother, but I do love these buckets. So, tell me in the comments below, what would you like to see from his collection? Thank you once again, don't forget to watch the rest of the videos over here. You guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.